Communications Manager Express is your router-based iOS platform for your phone system. Remember, this is the smaller environment. Maybe it's a branch location, or maybe you're using Communications Manager Express running in SRST mode. Either way, in order to access the interface, <laughs> There's several different ways to do this, but the first one we're looking at is the kind of built-in Communications Manager Express interface. So let's take a look at how we get there. We would need to, first of all, enable the ability for HTML to be running on the router. And we would type in the address of the router, Communications Manager Express, and then ccme.html. That brings you to this main menu. It's not real pretty. Doesn't look like Communications Manager or Unity Connection or Presence, but we have the options to go in and configure, uh, tie in our voicemail ports, set up the routing, save the configs, update the system info, create files for our phones. There's a little bit of call history reporting you can do, and, and there's a help option. But to get to this main gray Communications Manager Express kind of built-in interface, this is how you would get there. Communications Manager Express is the router-based phone system, so you can get out to the command line and pretty much issue all the commands necessary to set up your phones and your users and your features and, and so forth for your phone system. So however you want to get there, if you use a Telnet or an SSH connection, sometimes I use TerraTerm, you know, it just depends upon what you're comfortable with to get out to the command line. This is where pretty much all setup for your Communications Manager Express can be done. Because even if you do choose to use one of the graphical user interfaces, there may come a time that you have to come to the dark place. You have to get to the command line and type some commands to turn on uh, HTML, for example, and give permissions to an account so they have access to the administrative web pages. So you can't completely stay away from the command line, so you're gonna need to get a little bit comfortable in really setting it up and accessing it. The Cisco Configuration Professional is a graphical user interface based administrative tool for your routers. Now, you might be saying, I'm looking at voice videos. What are we doing looking at router configuration options? Well, not only can you set up routing, routing protocols, but you can also set up some security. You can also set up your phone system. So your Config Pro is an HTTP server for accessing your Communications Manager Express and, and phone system side of things. So let's look at how you gain access to it. So here's me logged into the Cisco Config Pro. First of all, what I did was I launched this and had to type in my admin credentials and the router that I'm going to be attaching to. And that was the first thing. The second thing is if I want to see what my administrative options are, I want to be on the home screen, as you can see here, and you can see my community view where I can see here's all my servers that I might have listed in this community. And you can also choose which router it is you're administrating. Okay, so that's kind of the base where you come in when you launch the Cisco Config Pro. Now, if I want to configure it, I click on configure. And now I have router. Wow, look at all of that. I have all my router configs. I have security. And lo, lo and behold, I have communications. Here's how I can get in and set up my gateways, my telecommunication settings, my users, my trunks, my dial plans, my features, my voicemail integration, and so forth. So here's where I have the access to my voice tools. But what's kind of nice about this is if this is an integrated services router and you are managing your routing configs and your voice configs and security and so forth, you can do it through one administrative web page using the CCP.